Next presentation, uh, 522 by Tomasz Tomaszewski. Uh, he's absent, but uh, he asked me to present uh, his presentation, so I will we start. Uh, The topic of the presentation is analysis of the statis statistical size effect model with a cri critical value in the range of high cycle fatigue. Okay, so the sta statistical uh, defects of, of the material, such points, such as small poles, linear, such as dislocation, surface type, such as grain boundaries, are distributed in the given value, in respectively of the element size. Uh, increasing the specimen the cross section area causes an increase to the, the randomly distributed defects. This leads to the higher probability of the crack initiation in large specimen. So we have uh, presented uh, two features of uh, uh, specimens: one large. And the second one smaller, and we have an uh, example of uh, distribution of uh, defects in such uh, specimens. And this approach applies uh, to the condition of the test in which non-linear distribution of load occurs. E.g., uh, consequences of the stress, not specimens on building tone tension uh, load. So we have presented uh, two specimens, large and small, and we have nominal stress the same, but uh, the stress distribution is different. The stress gradient is uh, bigger for the smaller uh, specimen than the large. So we have this. So at given the length a0, the stress gradient is a small specimen, will be smaller than in the standard specimen. The, the relation is true provided that the identical distribution of stress is assumed, a fixed value of normal stress, the stress concentration factor. Bending load are characterized by irregular distribution of the stress level, this irregularity can be expressed by derivation the load uh, stress sigma max, determined as relative stress gradient. So we have equation for the uh, relative stress gra gradient, and we can see the length A0 for a small specimen and for large specimen, and we can see that uh, sigma 1 for smaller uh, specimen will be uh, smaller than sigma 2 for large specimen. The model assumes that a statistical solid body includes a set of basic e elements, each to a certain degree responsible for the strength of the entire body. The model relates the fatigue properties to the material volume. The main assumption, assumption of the model is determined that critical value, and we have uh, equation for this value. We have value of specimen, uh, uh, critical uh, value is how p uh, lambda, and we have equation for calculate this uh, uh, value. Uh, using the failure probability distribution based on the weakness link theory and the quicker value for non-uniform strain, the following relation can be uh, used. So this uh, equation can be uh, reduced for the such form, where BP is 1 uh, divided by M log minus 2.3 log uh, 1 minus P. Uh, P is the probability of uh, failure. So we have th th the M is shape uh, factor of distribution. And we took assume a uh, weighable uh, two-parameter par distribution. 
and fatigue test. For the fatigue test, it was used uh, acid uh, residues still one point uh, four three zero one. Uh, geometry of uh, specimen was shown the figure three. Uh, dimension was uh, presented in table one. We it was used uh, two specimen, standard specimen and uh, mini specimen. And uh, this specimen uh, have different cross section. F uh, standard specimen has twenty eight. M uh, millimeter squares, but a mini specimen have 3.5 millimeters square. For uh, bending, uh, four point bending was used uh, uh, such load. We have uh, fixed it on the two ends, and we have uh, two. Two bars uh, were applied uh, force, and we have length between these uh, two bars. And where this uh, uh, dimension was uh, shown for in table two. Okay. Uh, here we have a figure with uh, experimental results for axial loading. Uh, with triangle we have standard specimen and with uh, circle we have uh, mini specimen. As we can see the uh, strength for the uh, mini specimen are higher than for a uh, standard specimen. The same uh, we can uh, see on the right uh, <coughs> graph where for uh, mean specimen range are higher than for uh, standard space specimens. For uh, such a result was uh, estimate uh, parameters for uh, sigma A and curve and all parameters are in table uh, 3. For linear regression we have a slope coefficient A and uh, intercept B. And we have a uh, correlation coefficient uh, R squared. As we can see, it's uh, higher than 0 0.9, so we can assume that the results are uh, very good, uh, good quality. Then we applied uh, the model which was uh, shown uh, previously. Uh, on the re result we have for the actual load uh, model is assumed by dashed line like a standard uh, and we can uh, see we calculate from the uh, results of mini specimen and we calculate a uh, characteristic for uh, standard uh, size specimen and here we have a dashed line whose are uh, is uh, close to the experimental test. For the bending, uh, difference from the analytical uh, curve and experimental curve is bigger, but uh, we can uh, see it's not uh, so bad. In table, we have error, so for, for the axial load uh, coefficient of uh, residual variation, uh, we have uh, uh, two percent, so it's uh, very close. But for bending, is uh, eleven percent, so it's uh, bigger, as we can show on the uh, uh, graph. Conclusion: Application of the statistical size effect model with a critical value allows to estimate the sigma a and a characteristic for sections other than determined uh, experimentally. The model used two areas of the size effect analysis. The statistical approach used the probability distribution parameters, which require use of a large number of experimental points at the same load ap amplitude, sigma a. The second area allows for a load gradient by determining the critical value for p depending on the model parameters. 
the calculated uh, sigma a and uh, characteristic have different direction coefficient of the regression line than the reference characteristic. The lines are not parallel since the scatter of the fatigue <coughs> life results at higher stress amplitude sigma a is lower than at the lower levels. The angle of the, an estimated line can be changed due to the use of a shape distribution coefficient m in an analyzed model. The characteristic estimation error for the reference specimen are due to a, a small amount of experimental data. The qualitative analysis shows the correct application of the model since the sigma a and characteristic determinated analytically is shifted in a right, right direction. The calculated sigma a and characteristic for axial load is partly between the confusion intervals for the standard specimen. However, it is on hazardous side, AG. The estimated uh, fatigue strength for the reference specimen is higher than the experimental value. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>